you talk to anybody and they, you know, it's kind of like, well, what are you like? What are some of you like? You know, and then here we go. But, but everybody seems to have their own classification of, of order in the world, of good and bad and so on and so forth. And basically, it, he says, it will seem difficult for you to learn that you have no basis at all for ordering your thoughts. That the only way to really let go of the ego is to, to quit trying to judge. You know, you, almost the biblical passages about um, judge not lest you be judged and different things. That the, the basic element in, in letting go of these interpretations, these, these twisted interpretations and these misperceptions, is to let go of, of judgment. Let go of trying to order our own thoughts. So that seems like, well, okay, that, that's helpful too, but... But once again, what about the Holy Spirit? And basically, it's simple. The Holy Spirit only has two or two categories, whereas the deceived mind has millions of categories for everything. The Holy Spirit has two categories. Oh, the only judgment involved is the Holy Spirit's one division into two categories: one of love and the other the call for love. Oh, we're back to that again. <laughs> That instead of perceiving all these hierarchies of, of, of illusions and orders of difficulty and, and this and that, the Holy Spirit has such a, you know, a real clear vision, a clear mind. He just perceives two orders, love and a call for love. So we're back to the question, though. But it seems so difficult to consistently choose with the Holy Spirit. You know, what, why is it so difficult to, to not perceive or to perceive like, like he does all the time? So then it says... Um, he kind, of, he kind of gives us a peek into that. He says, you cannot safely make this division, for you are much too confused either to recognize love or to believe that everything else is nothing but a call for love. Why? He says, you are too bound to form and not to content. What you consider content is not content at all. It is merely form and nothing else. So. Here we come back to that. Remember, we talked earlier about the mind, decisions in the mind, and then form is that real obsession with thinking we know what's happening, what's valuable in form, ordering and judging. You know, the old thing that everybody knows that you know that this inner city life is more scary, or there's more something to be afraid of more than living out in the country. Or you know, everybody knows that a hundred dollar bill is more valuable than a penny. Come on, Jesus, anybody knows that, and he's saying, form content, <laughs> you know? You're very bound into specifics, and you have to start giving up thinking that you know what's going on in form so that you can proceed with the Holy Spirit. So that's a, that's a pretty big distinction.